Hey guys, MTN here once again with another base build video. This is actually a base that I built on stream today to get with 200 of you guys, which was absolutely amazing. So I expect a lot of views on this because a lot of people were excited for a prison base build. This is of course on the new map of Germany. This is the Fernweb prison. I probably butchered that. I in German, so I apologize for that. And I'm going to be streaming on Twitch next time. And then if I do a base build on that stream, I'm going to be doing it on Limestone Quarry. So Make sure to follow twitch.tv slash mtngg if you want to help out in or giving suggestions on what kind of build on the next map. So, first of all, we're going to start here at the gate. This is basically the only entrance to the prison. You can't enter behind or anything. You can't, like, of course, build it into it. But this is uh, this is just a prison, and I know some and such spawn in here, but I've put out safe zone there. radiators, so there shouldn't be any zombies in here. But if you see here, we have put a generator under the ground so we can actually open this, which is pretty cool. So, this is the only way a car could come in it has to drive through this you can press f on it for it to open and um, so that's pretty much it this is the only way a car can come in or any vehicle overall and here we have a sentry gun guarding the area so someone who's armed can't actually get in which is pretty good and uh, this sentry gun has a swiss gear in it with a military drum so it has a lot of rounds in it we have some sandbags with some barbed wire on it so people can't uh, jump over it and just destroy the sentry of course you can shoot it from further away like you can shoot it from here but the chances are that the sentry gun will actually shoot you. So I've put out these tank traps here. The viewer said I was gonna put out the tank traps here so no tank would run into this and destroy it. I don't think tanks can destroy sandbags though. I have never tried that, so... Yeah, I used to this. It makes sense that we have tank traps here, so so that's pretty much it. Uh, in here, we have a lot of cars parked. We have the SWAT van, we have the police cars, and we have the new prison truck that has been added in the recent update. All the towers are equipped with the same stuff. They have one sentry gun on them. We will go in depth with what, what specs it have in a second. There are four different towers out, so no prisoner can escape, really, which is pretty, pretty cool. So let's go to the tower. We won't go through all of the towers because they have the same specs, as I said. So we're just gonna go to this tower and I will show you what is in it when you enter the tower there's gonna be a metal door here so no prisoner can really enter it we're gonna close we're gonna close that jump up here it's a ladder up to the tower just like any normal tower pretty much and up here basically you can have have watch on uh, who is uh, coming in and out and there's a door here let's go out of it and you can pretty much see all over in the prison and uh, we do have a sentry gun here with an echo it's a 20x scope and it um, has you can see the lamp light here i will show you i will turn it to night i'll show you how it looks you can see the lamps go around the courtyard like a normal prison all the prisons like high security prison they have lamps like this that go around so you can basically see if any prisoners is trying to escape um, but if we go here to this echo i will strip it right now for you uh, you can see this is the attachments we have. Of course, we have the normal magazine for the Echo. Then we have the tactical light, which is basically the light we can see all over the courtyard. I really like this idea as a viewer said that we we're going to put them on it because uh, when uh, this uh, sentry gun uh, targets an enemy, it's going to follow it and uh, the light is going to be on the prisoner. So if a prisoner would run down here with uh, just down here, the sentry gun would focus on it and the lamp would be on it. Uh, I hope you understand how I mean. It's basically going to be easier to find the prisoner who's trying to escape. But we do have a 20x scope and the tactile light which is doing that light that is going to help us a lot if a prisoner tries to escape. So that is pretty much the towers. Let's have a look on the inside of this prison. So first of all, as you see here, the windows, there's there are no windows here usually. So I have put bulletproof windows all around this area. Basically, when a new batch of prisoners come in this uh, prison truck, they have handcuffs and they're gonna go through this door. And in here, they basically leave their clothes and such to the police guard here and they go... Uh, put them in lockers behind there and when the prisoners get released they get their items back so we're gonna go through in here first of all to have a look on what we can find in here police that collects items will pretty much stand here and take their stuff as they come in and he will give them prisoner clothing like you know a orange prisoner top and orange prisoner bottom pretty much that which is what they need to wear in the prison the prisoners normal clothes he goes back in here in the back turns them into this lockers pretty much back here we have bunk beds pretty cool i have put a safe zone generator here radio here so basically nothing spawns in here i have put that all around prison so the prisoners can't really like get shanks and such all randomly but in these uh, gun cages we do have a swiss caviar a blunt force and a timber wolf the exact same setup in here so that's pretty much it for uh, this place and in here you can actually go up to the roof and we do have two police helicopters one there and one there 
Then on the other side, we have a sentry gun, which has a Swiss cover and a military drum. Same here, which is guarding this courtyard here, where basically where the prisoners go on recess, if that's uh, the correct phrase. So that's pretty much it for the roof. And as you can see here, I have put these uh, jail doors on jail doors. You can see there's already this jail door, and you can't really place a normal jail door in here. Just like just put it out. Um, I had to go in like the build mode with just F shift F6 to place it out. So that's pretty much what I had to do. I did it everywhere where I couldn't place uh, prisoner doors or cell doors. I think we can call it. Over here we have cell block A. There's nothing much in here. I've put a safe zone generator here, radiator here. Prisoners won't get stuff such as shanks and such. So they can't kill anyone. Same goes for the cell block B which is over here where we like basically that's where we put the prisoners and uh, they won't be able to have any guns or such. This is the courtyard. We have the sentries as I showed you earlier one there and one there so basically if somebody tries to do something if somebody punches someone I think the sentry gun is gonna go off and they start shooting them or kill them this is just a small courtyard you have a basketball hoops and such table There's some awesome tables there on the wall as well that's that, that is pretty much it if we go in here though you can go here to the cell block B through that door and cell block A there but if you go through here we have the cafeteria which is pretty cool I put a safe zone radiator here so no items spawn on the table this is pretty much where the prisoners eat and such and this is uh, where they co come and get their food they go here pia, 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 pia. can I have my food yes can I have my food yes can I have my food pretty much how cafeteria works at, at a school um, it's pretty simple to understand that's pretty much it for the prison honestly there's not much more I can show you I really like this base build. Thank you guys for watching though. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment something nice below. And in the next base build, it's gonna be probably in a few days or next week. I'm gonna be building at the quarry. So that's something to look forward to. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay coffee, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>